Well, hello. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm Mags. You're watching White Buffalo Divine. Today we are doing love readings. I was in the mood. Let's do some readings. It's been a minute since I've done readings for you guys. I am so sorry. <sighs> Going through a lot of stuff. I know I say that every time, but I swear to God, I could write a book. I might be a bestseller, and I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Neither here nor there. How you doing, honey? I have no clue who's reading this is, by the way. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to draw. I've got some signs left in my blog. I've got all the zodiac signs in here. I've already done, I think, nine, eight or nine readings. So there's only three left. So let's go ahead, mix it up. Let's see who's next here. Shuffling on camera for you. All right. Who do we have? Well, if it isn't the beautiful Leo, how you doing, honey? Let's go ahead and get started. Here's what we're doing, okay? I do not take reversals, first and foremost. I also ask that you remove all bias from this reading. And we're gonna be using four different decks. I've pre-shuffled off of camera. I've meditated, prayed, really grounded my energy for this reading. We're gonna take a look at your person's energy towards you and their feelings towards you. We're gonna look at your feelings towards them and your energy towards them. Let's roll. Tell me Leo's person's energy towards them, please, currently. What is Leo's person's energy currently towards them? There it is. Knight of Wands. You make them excited, baby. Ooh, they want to come towards you for sure. Also, did you know you inspire them? Because you do. Um... <clears throat> This person's very uh, clever. This person also is a very youthful energy. Look at that, there you are, Leo, sun. Can't make it up. This person is a very positive, high vibe person. You could even be dealing with a Leo or someone else who has Leo in their chart with the sun showing up like this. This is a, also the number 19 is on this card. That's a 10. This person's a 10 energetically from what I'm telling. They're probably also hot as hell too because let's be real. Leo ain't interested in someone that's not. Five of wands. This person is very competitive as well. They are actually in competition with you. I don't know if you knew that, Leo. They feel like they're in competition with you. They also feel like they're in competition with others. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Even if you're in a relationship committed with them, they are constant. Con this person feels like they're in competition with either others, maybe your job, other commitments you may have. Um, you might have knocked this person down a peg. <laughs> Um, let's let's go deeper. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Leo. What do we got? Two more. What do we got? Here we go. Four of coins and the ten of wands. This person's closing out a major cycle in their life. Four of coins. They're really looking for stability. They're also heavily working on their finances. Okay, look at this guy's smile. He knows what he's doing. He's getting that money. Okay, this person, your person's getting that money. They're ready to, I'm also going to say this person's possibly even looking to move or relocate, um, <clears throat> declutter, change careers like there's some big changes coming into this person's life right now you're obviously picking up on it if they haven't told you about it so bottom of the deck what energy do we have on this yeah there is the six of coins they want equal give and take with you very big on team work this person's really big on collaboration i love that okay what's leo's energy towards their person tell me more what is Leo's current energy towards their person? Got to be honest, Leo, I'm not seeing any cups in this. So there's no mushy-gushy emotions right now as far as what they're bringing to you. But this person's very interested. I almost want to say this is a newer person as well because of the night. Um... And because they feel that there's competition, this may be someone you previously dated or talked to that now knows they're in competition or something. I don't know. What's Leo's, what's Leo's energy towards this person? <laughs> Little in your head much? <laughs> Nine of swords. 
This person's got you freaking out a little bit. Leo, it's all right. Tell me more. What's Leo's current energy towards this person? Tell me more. Woo! We now have two nines. There's the nine of wands. What is going on, Leo? I don't know what it is. Okay, first of all, you're being really quiet with this person. We've got the hermit here. We're also in Virgo season. This is the Virgo card. So it doesn't surprise me this energy is coming out. But you're taking full advantage. You're being very, very quiet right now. And that's because there's clearly some stuff going on mentally with you. You're not telling anyone about. You're overcoming major obstacles. This is someone who cannot be stopped. Okay, this is someone who reaches the Ten of Wands. This person's already reached the Ten of Wands because they're done. They are so done, they're closing out massive cycles. Leo, you're almost there. You got two nines here. This is almost over. That's why you've gone hermit mode because you're trying to you're trying to close it out. I feel that heavily. Why are you trying to close it out? It's almost like you're closing it out for this person. Ooh, did I just get a prequel of emotions? Tell me more. What's Leo's energy towards this person? Tell us more. Leaving the past behind. Yup. You're clearing out past energy. Anybody that's broken your heart in the past, bye, done, finito, gotta go, ciao. Very different energies between the two of you right now, but very interesting. Tell me one more. Leo's energy, too many. That was like 20 cards. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. There you are. There, there that's what you're seeing. You're seeing somebody that has really caught your attention. Again, this person is very, um, this person's got their shit together. They're stable. Very nurturing person's very uh motherly they've got motherly like qualities about them okay and then <laughs> bottom of the deck in your energy towards them leo we have the empress yep you found you think you found the one all right let's be real you aren't quite sure clearly because you're closing stuff out in the past you haven't really maybe taken a leap yet or started a new cycle but this person is Someone that is above all the others. No one can top this person for you. The Empress is above all four queens. Now, don't get it twisted. This could be the Emperor above all four kings. But I'm asking about your energy towards this person, and you're seeing them as a top dog. And you want to commit. There's something there about commitment, and that is a heavy secret. Okay. Oh, Leo. I get it. It's the pride Shit sucks. Okay, let's get into the emotions of your person. What is this person's emotions towards Leo? Seated, subconscious. What are this person's genuine, wholehearted emotions towards Leo? How do they feel about Leo? Knight of Cups. This person wants to really be sweet to you. They want to offer you a cup of love. They want to come on to you. They want to flirt with you. They want to really make you feel good. I also want to point out the two fish at her waist. That is about intuition. This person is very tapped in with their intuition. Turned in, tapped in, turned on. You definitely turn this person on, no doubt. Woo! I can't make it up, y'all. Are you fucking kidding me? Queen of Pence and Queen of Pence. Queen of Coin, Queen of Coin. This person looks at you the exact same way. Spouse material. Okay. This person also views you as very abundant and fertile. Fertile as in you can create a lot. You're very... Uh, reliable. Loyal. This person's prayed about you a lot as well. They prayed about this a lot. Mm. There's the emotions. Tell me more. I got two. How do you want me to receive? <laughs> I cannot. Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing this? King and queen. We now have a court match. This person thinks you're their spouse. 
Mm, this person wants to commit wholeheartedly. Cannot make it up. Why? They, this person's got really deep emotions. That is way too many. This person has a lot to say to you. Um, Leo, I had a dream. I'm hearing I have a dream by Martin Luther King. What is that? I have a dream. I have a dream that one day, what is that? This person's a dreamer. This person dreams about you. Why am I hearing Martin Luther King? Martin Luther King was one of the most influential leaders of our time, philanthropists. This person has those qualities. This person also thinks you have these qualities. And that's that. Oh, this is heavy romantic. Oh my God. I'm going to, this person thinks you guys could do philanthropy together and change the world. I've never said those words in a reading and it's coming through heavily here uh, for me to hear that. I have a dream speech. This is giving me chills all down my, all down my back right now. Tell me more. How's this person feel for Leo? Hanged one. They're stalling out. They're giving you space. They know you're going through all this right here. Okay. They're giving you space because they ain't even worried about it. They're that sure. This person has been told in a dream or something that you are the one. They're that sure. This person, this person's confident as hell. Bottom of the deck, ace of wands. They want you so bad. They are so physically attracted to you. They think you're sexy as all get out. They want to be you. They want to touch you. They want to smell you. Okay, not be you. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they're jealous of you a little bit. Who knows? I don't know. Either way, this person is hella attracted to you, Leo. Very, very much so. And you know why? They've been watching you. They've made their judgment on you. A very sound one, might I add. This person doesn't just make decisions on the willy-nilly. This person's mature. We got, we got pentacle energy here. This person's mature as hell. Straight up. All right, Leo. It's time for your cross watchers to hear up what you got going on in your heart space. What are Leo's feelings, true feelings for this person? What are Leo's true feelings subconsciously or currently for this person? Tell me more. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Where'd the boomstick go? Where'd it go? Oh, is it the wrong deck? Where'd my deck go? Ah, I'm sorry. I'm ruining the moment. But am I? Because the boomstick and the lovers together, woo, fire, damn, you, when, you know, it's funny, Leo, when you think of this person, you're like, no, that's my lover. I want to be a lover with that person. Like that's, that's them. You're using your intuition. No doubt. Tell me more. Leo, I'm going to rat you out. Crossroads, I'm putting it straight. Leo, you've had a sex dream about this person. Mm-hmm. If not multiple, you fantasize about this person too. Sorry, not sorry. What I say about the justice coming in. Leo, this person is very balanced and fair. You love how fair they are. They see all angles when they present themselves. They're very smart. This per you feel this person is extremely smart, which I also like. This person also may have some type of authoritative energy to them that also turns your kink. Okay, this person also might wear a lot of red. This person's very balanced. They know when to turn it up, when to turn it off, when to be quiet, and when to show out. Tell me more, what, what is Leo's <laughs> Ten of Wands? This has been a very heavy burden for you. Why? Because you're keeping it a secret. If you're in a relationship with this person, Leo, then this is like a reboot coming in for your relationship. If you are single or if you're dating or if you have someone in your mind, this has been a very heavy burden for you because you have not really told this person your feelings at all. 
because you're so busy clearing out the past. And that's fine. Like, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Take your damn time. You don't need to rush. If it's right, it's right. Tell me more. What are Leo's feelings for this person? Final message. <laughs> what I tell you about balance? Okay, this is the Earth Angel Temperance. This is a Sagittarius card. This is also alchemizing. This person is a master alchemizer. The water in this card is actually flowing up. One foot in the water, super and subconscious. Sun in the background, a path leading to happiness. This person is on a mission. And you know that, and you see that, and you want to be with that. You're all about this, okay? Why? Because you feel this person is your justice. And you know deep down this person is a ride or die. And you know what? They feel the same about you. Oh, Leo! <sighs> Sounds like bottom of the deck, you got a decision to make, my friend. Looks like you're going for it. Yep. Thank you so much for stopping by, Leo. I appreciate all of the love and support. If you're interested in a private one-on-one -on -one intimate reading with me, information is in the box below. If this is where we part ways, I truly appreciate it. It's been an honor to read for you. I will be posting more readings as we go throughout the week. But in the meantime, all of my love, you gorgeous, gorgeous people, you. I love you. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.